I don't have like coffee that I can sip. Nope. So, this week on Project Runway All Stars, we were presented with the challenge to create a badass summer look with a touch of sophistication for End Philanthropy, which is a clothing label that also serves as a nonprofit that donates to cancer research for children. I thought everyone did a really great job this week. I just like you guys. <laughs> like I am I am shady. I am shady as hell. And the shade is just getting way too much for even me. It needs to be toned down. Like, shade should be fun. It shouldn't be so weird and bitter. Save that for your coffee. I don't have coffee today, but I do have a sewing machine. Hi, sewing machine, hi. So, I am wearing my Emily Payne top, which I love. She made it for me after I saw her dancing in a club with one. Hey, it actually dances really, really well. I'm wearing it because Emily won this week! And I love Emily so, so, so much. And I have gotten the opportunity to hang out with her and her daughter in San Francisco and it was like one of the most fabulous times of my life drinking with her in a lesbian bar. Anyway, sorry, off topic. Um, Emily won this week and I'm so happy for her. Her look was totally badass. I think that her top was so modern and so different and it just like, it really shows that Emily is like really a designer. She and Dom just have such strong points of view that comes through in every single design that they do, and I love seeing their work every single week. Except that she did do Count Dracula, the high fashion version. She's back with her Sesame Street characters, but it's working for her. Next up, I guess, is Keeney. I really hated Keeney's look. Just, I will, I will, uh, uh, oh. The whole thing looked like it was inspired by a drag king playing MC Hammer. As fabulous as that sounds at like a nightclub, it doesn't sound so fabulous on a rack. So then there was me. I don't know how the judges felt about my look. Like they seemed to like it. They thought that it was really summery. Um, I started off with Amelia Earhart as my inspiration because she is my ultimate badass as well as sort of like Katherine Hepburn. So it was a mix of the two of them. Mm, it was a lot of fun to like rip my garment up and make a new one in two hours. The thing on the side definitely could have been shorter so it didn't look so, so much like a baby sling, I think they called it. I kind of took a page out of like Heider Ackerman, who if you don't know him, you should look him up because he is fashion to me. Then <sighs> there were the bottom scores. Ken's I think was a really beautiful idea, but it was just so not resolved. Everything sort of came together for Ken, like the model and the styling and the proportion, but like when you just sort of look at his design on its own merits, it wasn't so much a design as it was kind of like a styled look and the construction was really, really poor. Um, but still I think that there was enough of kind of like an image there to keep him in. Dom, I was really like I was so confused watching Dom work because I was like yo you know this isn't for like New Year's Eve right this is for like the 4th of July don't get it twisted there was a lot of really beautiful work in Dom's but it really just like missed the mark like I mean the first thing that they said was you know design a look for summer and Dom gave them um you know really fancy Christmas party and then I just watched the episode so I'm still a little sad because I was so sad to see Asha, I'm getting like choked up. I was really sad to see Asha go. I was this close to like running back out on stage and being like, no, take me instead. She's, oh God, she's such a talented designer, but I just really think that the construction of her dress let her down this week. I think that the judges were kind of right. It was a little off season. I don't know, I just, like I could see Asha's dress in summer, it just, it just, I guess it just hit, it didn't hit the mark. I'm mostly just sad because she had to leave and she was my best friend on the show and I just missed her a lot. But she's gone on to like do some really kick-ass things. She's collaborating with her university right now. She's launched her label. So, you know, look her up, Asha Ama. I cannot wait to see what she does next. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this week. Like, comment, subscribe. Oh man, I want to say vote for Hillary Clinton, but I don't want the hate mail. Vote for Hillary Clinton, you guys. Send me the hate mail if you must. Love you. Bye. <laughs>